You are welcome in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His presence, healing is like breathing. In His presence, deliverance is like breathing. Hallelujah. Amen. Where can we go from His presence? Say nowhere. Nowhere. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank you all for coming. May God which you bless you in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. What a wonderful act of faith. The Bible says, do not forsake the assembly of the righteous. By acting upon this word, you are here this morning. And I want to assure you that Jesus will not pass you by. Jesus will not pass you by in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. People of God, by the special grace of God, I am son of the prophet Moses. This morning, I have been given this wonderful privilege by my father in the Lord, prophet A. Samuel, to come into your midst and share the word of creation, the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So I pray that your hearts will be open to hear his word this morning in the name of Jesus. Let your hearts be free to receive the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. People of God, oftentimes, we wonder why we pray so much and at the end it seems like our prayers are not answered or the answers do not come the way we want them to come I want to ask you a question have you experienced a situation where you have been praying about a particular thing you have been sending your request to God and for many years it seems like your answer is not coming forth have you been praying so hard and yet you are not receiving the answer as it ought to be are you tired of praying about that same issue today we are about to look at some of the causes of unanswered prayers or why our prayers do not bear fruit we call them prayer fruits our prayers are void of fruit we are about to look at what we ought to do so that our prayers will align with God's will upon our lives in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. So, turn and tell your neighbor next to you. Say, we are about to listen to what that work miracles. Say, what that work miracles. What that work wonders. So, why is it that our words have not been able to produce the miracle that we want? Why is it that our prayers Pourquoi seem not to bring forth the answers that we wish for? Les, les réponses dont nous avons besoin. Remember, Jesus Christ does nothing without his word. God does nothing without his word. So, let us open our Bibles to that book of John, chapter 15, verse 7. John, chapter 15, verse 7. John, chapter 15, verse 7. Je lis dans l'Esprit du Seigneur. Si vous demeurez en moi, et que mes paroles demeurent en vous, demandez ce que vous voudrez, et cela vous sera accordé. Amen. Hallelujah. In that book of John, chapter 15, verse 7, the Bible says, If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Hallelujah. You listen to that. 
That is the word of the master. C'est la parole du maître. To you and I. Pour vous et moi. Now the question is. Maintenant la question est. Are we just listening to the words? Est-ce que nous écoutons seulement la parole? Or we are listening to what is being preached? Écoutons ce qui est prêché. And giving attention to what we are hearing. Et donnons de l'attention à ce que nous écoutons. When we listen to what God is saying. We must pay attention to what God is saying. The reason why we seem to forget what God has spoken is because we seem to just listen to what God is saying and we are not paying attention to what God is saying. Tell your neighbor, say pay attention to the message given to you. Pay attention to the message given to you. It is not enough just to listen ce n'est pas suffisant de juste écouter. But we must pay attention to the message. Mais tu dois prêter attention au message. What does it mean to pay attention to what is being spoken to you? Qu'est-ce qu'il veut dire prêter attention à ce qui est dit? To pay attention means prêter attention signifie to relate what you are hearing to your life. Relativer ce qui se ce qui tu écoutes à ta vie. Listen to that. Écoute à ceci. As I'm talking to you right now. Quand je vous parle maintenant. This word you are listening to, how does it relate to your life? Comment est-ce que cela se manifeste dans votre vie? As you are seated there and listening, don't only be listening. N'écoutez pas seulement. Relate what you are hearing to your life. Référez ce que vous écoutez à votre vie. How does it relate to you in business? Comment est-ce que cela se relie à votre vie? How does it relate to you in your family life? Comment cela se relie à votre mariage? À votre mariage. What is it saying about your future? Qu'est-ce que cela dit à propos de votre futur? What is it saying about your present? Qu'est-ce que cela dit à propos de votre présent? A scripture must say something today. Une écriture peut dire quelque chose aujourd'hui. And say another thing tomorrow. Une autre chose est demain. But God is speaking all to you. Mais Dieu dit toutes ces choses à vous. Hallelujah. Amen. So, right now. Dans maintenant. For us. To see the fruits of our prayers, or the fruits of paying attention to what God has spoken, we must act upon what God has spoken. The word of God cannot be a part of you without action. The Bible in the book of James says, "We should not only be mere hearers, but doers of the word." Tell your neighbor, "Say be a doer." Say be a doer of God's word, not mere hearers. A hearer is like somebody who looks on the mirror and reflects and forgets. What his face looks like. But the one who pays attention to the word of God is the one that keeps staring at the mirror, and so comes to know more about himself and more about the mirror. What do you know about the mirror? And what do you know about yourself? Because the mirror is showing you who you are. And you can only know who you are by looking at the mirror. This mirror is the word of God. So to know more about who you are, you must draw closer to the word. And this word of God we are talking about. There is no way you can see the miracle power in the Word of God. Il n'y a pas de moyen de voir la puissance du miracle. When what you have in your heart is not in agreement with what you are saying with your mouth. N'est pas en accord avec ce que vous dites de votre bouche. The Word of God, influenced by the power of the Holy Ghost, influenced by the power of the Holy Ghost, is the word that you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Tell your neighbor. Say the word of God that produces miracles. Dit à votre voisin, la parole qui produit les miracles is the word spoken under the influence of the Holy Spirit. C'est la parole déclarée sous l'influence du Saint Esprit. The word that you believe in your heart. La parole que vous croyez dans votre cœur. 
in agreement with what you are speaking with your mouth and accords with the garden of the bush will produce miracles va produire des miracles unless the word of god in your heart so si la parole de dans votre cœur in harmony with what you are speaking et en harmonie avec ce que vous confessez you will not see results vous ne verrez pas les résultats you will not see the results you are expecting vous n'allez pas voir les résultats que vous attendez Let us open our Bibles to that book of Romans. Ouvrons nos Bibles dans le livre de Romains. Chapter 10. Read verse 10. Lisons le verset 8. Romans chapter 10. Romains chapitre 10. And let's look at verset 8. Verse 8. Je lis dans l'Esprit du Seigneur. Que dit-elle donc? La parole est près de toi, dans ta bouche et dans ton cœur. Or, oh, c'est la parole de la foi que nous prêchons. Verset 9. Si tu confesses de ta bouche le Seigneur Jésus, et si tu crois dans ton cœur que Dieu l'a ressuscité des morts, tu seras sauvé. Alléluia. Amen. Romans chapter 10 verse 8 and verse 9 I read in the spirit of the most high. It says but what does it say? The word is in you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the message concerning faith. that we proclaim if you declare with your mouth Jesus is lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved hallelujah the word of god la parole de dieu spoken with your mouth must be in complete agreement with what you believe in your heart for you to be saved for us to be delivered for us to receive healing true faith is the word that you believe in your heart and the word that you confess with your mouth the reason why we do not see the results of our prayers is not because we do not pray but after prayer our confession notre confession changes the miracle change le miracle What do you confess after prayer? Qu'est-ce que vous confessez après la prière? Influences your prayers. Influence votre prière. If you say I am rich, you did you say I am rich. not poor. Je ne suis pas pauvre. And the next minute your neighbor asks you how is it? Votre voisin vous demande comment va comment ça va? You say only poverty. Vous dites seulement la pauvreté. You have reversed the miracle. Vous avez renversé le miracle. Listen to that. These are the little things that cause us to miss out of God's miracles. Il faut manquer les miracles de Dieu. No matter how much you pray now. Peu importe comment vous priez maintenant. No matter what you declare in his presence. Peu importe ce que vous dites dans sa présence. Whatever you do out of here. Que ce que vous faites, ce que vous faites après ici. Is counted. Est compté. As part of the prayer you are praying now. Comme partie de la prière que vous priez maintenant. Do not forget that. N'oubliez pas cela. Whatever you ask in his presence you are required il vous est demandé to confess the same de confesser la même out of his presence or his presence do not repudiate ne rejetez pas the miracle le miracle what that work wonders les paroles que œuvrent les miracles that work miracles les paroles que œuvrent les miracles are words sont des paroles that are spoken in harmony Qui sont déclarés en amour avec le Saint-Esprit. Meaning, Cela you signifie. must believe in your heart. Vous devez croire dans votre cœur. Therefore, confess the same with your mouth. Et confessez la même chose avec votre cœur. This confession, cette confession, we are talking about, que nous nous parlons, is not limited by space nor time. N'est pas limité par l'espace ou le temps. So wherever you are, dans partout où vous êtes, the Bible says, la Bible déclare, you shall account for every idle word. Vous serez responsable de parole that you speak here on earth. Vous déclarez ici, vous déclarez ici, vous déclarez ici sur la terre. Do not be calm. Ne soyez pas calme. In his presence. Dans sa présence. And out of his presence. Et hors de sa présence. You are troubled. Et vous êtes troublé. When trouble hits. Quand les problèmes frappent. Feelings change. 
Les sentiments changent. Emotions change. Les émotions changent. Action changes. Les actions changent. But faith Mais la foi never changes. Ne change pas. Because faith is based on something more reliable. Parce que la foi est more dependent. Dependent. Than your own language. Que votre propre langage. For us to align with the will of God, we must Dieu, align with the language of the kingdom. The kingdom language is le the Bible. Language, la Bible. That is the standard. Ça, le standard. God's word spoken Dieu, to you vous is the language of heaven expressed through you le du ciel to bring forth good and not evil. Many circumstances of life Les circonstances de la vie have driven us away from God's will because we confess what we do not believe. Parce que nous ce que nous ne pas. When we look around, Quand nous regardons autour, there are many things that are very inconsistent with God's word. What do I mean? Many things that do not align word. with what God is saying. But these things do not have to control or rule our mode of worship. You know what I'm talking about. Some of us here, just this morning, you know what happened before you are here. It took, it's the grace of God that you are here. And some who are not here, those things overwhelm them. Ces choses les ont triomphé tri tri d'elles. Offense. L'offense. Little thing we are offended. Feelings have changed. Emotions have changed. Les émotions ont changé. Les émotions ont changé. Now we begin to confess out of the word of God. Nous devons commencer à confesser hors de la parole de Dieu. The Bible says, say I am strong, I am not weak. Dis, je suis fort, je ne suis pas faible. But the moment trouble hits, le moment, le moment que le frappe, you start confessing your weaknesses ignorantly. Vous à confesser vos faiblesses de manière ignorante. And yet you are waiting on the miracle of Et vous attendez encore le miracle. That miracle is dependent on your confession. Say so the miracle you are waiting for. Le miracle que tu attends depends on your confession. Dépend de ta confession. So do not confess anything. Ne confesse pas toute chose. Anyhow. N'importe comment. There is power in the tongue. Il y a la puissance dans la langue. That is why the mouth is directly linked to the heart. C'est ça que la bouche est directement liée au cœur. For the power that rests in your heart is released by faith through your mouth. Elle est lâchée par la foi au travers de votre bouche. The moment the mouth is saying what the heart is not saying, le moment où tu dis que la bouche ne dit pas, la foi est brisée. Listen to that. The moment your mouth is saying what your heart is not saying, dit que votre cœur ne pas, la foi broken. est brisée. It means relationship is broken. Que la relation est brisée. The power is cut off. La, la puissance est brisée. The same power you want to bring riches, la même puissance que vous voulez apporter pour apporter honor, la richesse, apporter le bonheur, to bring breakthrough, pour apporter la paix, to bring deliverance, pour apporter la délivrance. You have used your mouth. Vous avez utilisé votre bouche. Short circuit the power. Pour que vous la puissance. Words that work wonders. Les paroles qui œuvrent les miracles. These are words. Ce sont les paroles spoken under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Déclarées sous l'influence du Saint Esprit. You and I. Vous et moi. Have the power to decide. On la puissance de décider. But the Holy Spirit has the power Esprit of choice. A la puissance du choix. It is already chosen for us to worship God and Him alone. That is the choice of the Spirit. But you and I have the power of decision. What does that mean? You can decide not to worship God Almighty as your only Lord and Savior. But that is not the choice of God for you. The choice of God, you cannot change. But your decision, you can change. 
So whatever you allow to settle in your heart, that is what will influence your decision. Allow the Holy Spirit to influence your decision. You will choose to do the will of God. Not your will. In His will is that breakthrough. The word of God is the will of God for you. In His will is healing. In His will is deliverance. In His will is prophecy. In His will is your destiny. That good plan. His will is your destiny. That good plan. Not that evil plan. That good plan. Not that evil plan. Not that evil plan. Not that evil plan. In His will. Not that evil plan. attention to what you read in the Bible. This is what will bring you to the realm of revelation. Pay attention. Not just reading the Bible. When you start reading the Bible and paying attention to what you are reading, you will not read 10 scriptures a day. Because that is too much for you. The revelation you have in the in 10 scriptures is too much for you. If you pay attention to what you are reading, a scripture Une écriture va vous donner plusieurs révélations en un jour pour vous. This revelation we are talking about, cette révélation dont nous parlons, that is the power of God. C'est la puissance de Dieu. And unless your prayer is filled with this revelation, et sauf si vous êtes prié à remplir cette révélation. Your prayer will be void of the power of God. I mean, it will be empty of power. Votre prière sera vide de puissance. And therefore, whatever you are expecting, que ce que vous attendez, you will not have the result. Vous n'aurez pas le résultat. Let our prayers be filled with revelation. Que nos prières soient remplies de révélation. To have revelation from the Word of God, we must pay attention to what we are reading. Nous devons prêter attention à ce que nous lisons. To succeed in paying attention to what you are reading in your Bible, attention à ce que vous lisez dans votre Bible. We must read the Bible slowly. Nous devons lire la Bible lentement, attentively, attentivement, and repeatedly, et de manière répétée. Over and over, over and over again. Toujours, toujours et encore. Because while you are reading the Bible, the Bible is Bible, reading you. La Bible vous lit. It is the holy word of God. C'est la sainte parole de Dieu. And anyone that is reading the Bible, Et toute personne qui lit la Bible, must be under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Doit être sous l'influence du Saint Esprit. And so you are not alone. Donc vous n'êtes pas seul. There is someone by you. Il y a quelqu'un à côté de vous. It's not far from you. Ce n'est pas loin de vous. That one is in your heart. Cette personne dans votre cœur. And is speaking to you through that word you are reading. Et parle, il vous parle à travers ces paroles que vous lisez. That is the reason why you must read repeatedly. Because the person of repetitive. the Holy Ghost is telling you something. Parce que le Saint Esprit dit quelque chose. And requires a quiet mind. Et ça demande une pensée silencieuse. To hear his voice. Pour écouter sa voix. This message is to prepare our heart this morning. Ce message c'est pour préparer notre cœur. So that what my father will be telling you may have a place to settle in Jesus' name. Un endroit pour s'arrêter au nom de Jésus Christ. So while he comes here and begins to tell you mysteries, Donc, quand il vient ici, il you will not find it difficult to be attentive to those mysteries. Il pas trouvé cela difficile d'être attentif à ces mystères. Because a door of mysteries in the Parce kingdom has been opened. La porte des mystères de And your heart must be ready to receive in Jesus' name. Et votre être prêt à recevoir dans le Jésus Christ. What's that work miracles les paroles que eux les miracles. are words spoken under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Les paroles déclarées sous les Not our language, pas notre langage, but the heavenly language, mais le langage céleste, the word of God, la parole de Dieu. The moment you start speaking to this language, vous allez commencer à déclarer le langage de ce de ce mot. You will have today's results. Vous aurez les résultats de ce jour. The instant 
you rise up to the heavenly language you begin to receive eternal results results that are backed by the holy ghost results backed by jesus himself and these results are not temporary these results are permanent so let your heart right now be open to receive the power that Alors, makes you so permanent in your life in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I declare your miracle will not pass you by in the name of Jesus. And I pray that whatever thing that you speak with your mouth shall be in harmony with your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, every word that you speak will bring forth miracles in the name of Jesus. Today, whatever thing that you speak as from today will be to Bring wonders into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can we celebrate the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ? Thank you very much for your time. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. I leave you not from the faith, but I believe I will meet you in the faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Mountain Ministries is a ministry that is still growing. So please, your support for the realization of the vision and the destiny of the ministry is highly appreciated. For inquiries concerning your support for the ministry and Restoration TV, please contact this ministry's official support lines, plus 237-672-1194, Six nine five four nine five three two seven. God bless you for your support for the growth of God's kingdom. The Holy Mountain Ministries est un ministère qui grandit encore. Alors, s'il vous plaît, votre soutien pour la réalisation de la vision et la destinée du ministère est vivement apprécié. Pour toute personne voulant soutenir le ministère et la chaîne Restauration TV. S'il vous plaît, contactez le ministère au numéro de soutien officiel suivant. Plus 237 672 11 94 10. Plus 237 695 49 53 27. Que Dieu vous bénisse pour votre soutien pour l'avancement du royaume de Dieu. Restoration TV, bringing to you the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stay tuned to the word of life. Restauration TV. Pour vous apporter l'évangile de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, restez connectés à la parole de vie.